One time, also during the time I was at London, um, I must have made a presentation at some meeting in London that the chief executive was attending. And that, uh, that afternoon, I guess he happened to be chatting with my direct boss, who was in New York City, and he probably said, oh, I was at this meeting, your guy Lowney did a good job or something. Okay. So the next day, I come into work, and I have an email from my boss from New York. Chris, Sandy, the CEO of the company, Sandy told me, um, you did a great job yesterday. Thanks so much. That's wonderful. And I probably read that email 10 times that day, you know? You go to a meeting. I mean, human beings are a real pain in the ass. You know, you manage people, and people are complaining, and you go to the meeting, and, you know, you, they're all babies. And then I would go back to my office, read the email again, and everything's okay, you know? And this guy, he probably got more mileage out of that stupid email than out of the bonus check he gave me in December, you know? And I'm joking, but only a little bit, you know? And I think uh, gratitude is a really uh, powerful thing, you know? Um, not fake, manipulative gratitude, but, you know, to appreciate who people are and what they do, um, I think it makes, and it, and it makes you feel good, you know? I don't know many grateful people who are unhappy, you know? And again, if you raise some of these things in the context of spirituality. I think in every spiritual tradition I know about, it teaches us to be, uh, tells us we should be grateful, but the reality of life for those of us who are working in companies and organizations is everything is geared to problems. You know, that's why we all get ahead, because we're the one, we're the type A's who say, okay, what do I do now? Here's the problem. How do I fix the problem? And that's not, that kind of way of living does not lend itself very much to gratitude, you know? So I always say, look, we have to create some space where we can feel gratitude for all the things that we have first, but then also to show gratitude to other people. A few of you probably know the guy, uh, Ken Blanchard, uh, who's a real, who's a management guru in the, in the US now, he's quite elderly. But he had a great phrase that uh, I wish I had thought of myself. He, he used to say, one of his uh, maxims was, your job as a manager is to catch people doing something wrong, is the way the sentence ends, right? His, his idea was, your job as a manager is to catch people doing something right. And it's very true and very powerful. You know, in other words, when, as the manager, you're able to say, hey, I saw what you just did, that's great, thank you.